Hey everybody, so welcome to the video. I went to the flea market yesterday and this is stuff I picked up at the flea market. Not crazy day. It, is, it was during the week, so I'm not uh, not a big haul day, but um, it's Saturday morning right now where I'm shooting this and my wife is actually out right now doing the haul for us because I wasn't able to, um, wasn't able to go because I agreed to work. Uh, my employer my boss, I should say, uh, bosses who were asking me if I'd be able to cover a shift this weekend. They do have someone out and they're really nice. And I really like the department I'm in and, you know, I'm always wanting to help out if I could, I don't have to help out, but, um, you know, it's, they asked me and yeah, I, I'll do a few hours. I'm not going to do a whole weekend. I'm not going to work my whole weekend away, but because uh, I do have other stuff I want to do, and I do uh, enjoy going to Goodwills and flea markets, and um, that's what I would prefer doing. So I told them I'd work half a day. That's cool. Um, but uh, I was able to go to the flea market yesterday. Fridays aren't the biggest days for the flea market. It's only 50 cents to get in on a Friday. Uh, Thursdays are bigger and Thursday I think it's a dollar to get in and then 25 cents on a Wednesday it's open Wednesday to Sunday Sunday is the biggest day at the flea market it's um uh, West Wind uh, what is it West Wind drive-in theater and call just called capital flea market capital West Wind flea market they have another one up north I believe it's in Sacramento uh, or going towards Sacramento, they have another uh, West Wind movie uh, drive-in theater uh, slash flea market. And the one thing about the flea market, at least the flea market in my area, is they they open early. Like, you can get there early. If you look at their hours online, it's not really 100% correct. Um, what is correct is the end time. They have to be done. All vendors, everything has to be done by 3 o'clock. Um, and the reason for that is because they're also a drive-in at night. So I, I've sold there before and, you know, it's a great place. Tons of people show up there. Tons of people, um, even on days, like the off days on Wednesdays and Fridays, which are the considered the off days, there's a lot of people that go there and I would highly recommend, um, especially if you're on a budget, I mean, everybody's on a budget. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm on a budget too, but, uh, buy stuff, buy from the flea market. If you need produce, produce at the flea market, that comes directly from, uh, I mean, I'm in California, so there's a lot of agriculture here. Uh, I can go, like, literally two miles down the road, and there's farmer's markets and everything. Um, so there's a lot of agriculture here, and at our flea market, a lot of that stuff comes over straight to the flea market, and people are selling it there. You got everything from your strawberries to your fruits and vegetables. I have strawberries to cherries, you know, oranges, all your veggies. They have all your veggies there. Um, all kinds of snacks and everything, too. So, great place to do produce shopping, um, shopping for stuff in general for yourself. So, I got a lot of great stuff here today. Um, stuff that I'm hoping is going to sell quick. Some great name brand items that you should be on the lookout for. And a couple of things. So, let me show you really quickly. Um, my wife is also messaging me uh, at work. She's over picking up a bunch of stuff. And so uh, she's sending me messages like, you know, what should we pay for this? What should we pay for that? And uh, one of the things she was messaging me, oh, let me show you this first. I picked this up yesterday at the flea market. I got it for $5. Just a little, you know, fire tablet. Nothing super exciting. But it was brand new, which is what prompted me to buy it. Should be like 20 It's an older one, so 5 to 20 you know. 25 to 30 dollars hopefully for that guy but I picked it for five bucks and then she sent me a message and our guy that you know he helps us out um has seven of the kids versions of this which has a big foaming thing on it and um has seven of them so she goes should we pick these up and so you know i just shot her a message like what the price you know what it should be priced at and what should we be paying for it uh, based on shipping and, and you know how long it might sit and all that and so got a whole bunch of these coming in <laughs> so i'm like oh man uh but you know 
it's it's all one skew it's all one thing it's going to be easy quick and easy to list another thing that i did buy yesterday which i don't usually buy so when i'm going during the week unless i see something really good i'm not going to be um uh, buying in large quantities because i already have large quantities usually sitting in my house so uh but if it's a good deal i'm not going to pass it up i'm not going to pass up a good deal so I did, there was a guy, which I buy some tech stuff from, uh, computer products, and he had these sitting there. These are USB um, external DVD RW drives. So it's a DVD drive, reads and writes DVDs. It will also do CDs. It will read and write CDs. A lot of modern computers don't come with these, and you need to buy them separately now. They're not crazy expensive. It's about probably about twenty bucks. Um, got them for five dollars each. I got he had five of them, so I just told him I'll just take them all. Five dollars each on these. They should go for about twenty bucks a pop. And um, now I work uh, for a hospital, and one of the things why we do so, hospitals still needs these is uh, sometimes patients will get hurt in rural areas. And then, um, you know, they'll go to a local hospital there. And majority of the time, those hospitals in rural areas aren't up to date with technology. So they will usually send the patient with any lab work, x-rays, whatever, on a CD. So therefore, when they come to our hospital or whatever hospital that they, where they have insurance, um, then we'll need to be able to read that information. And so we do have several of these uh, around the hospital that are required um, in order to see any laboratory work, any x-ray work, anything like that, which is why these still have value, not crazy value. So you don't want to pay up for them, but, um, you know, five bucks each and I'll make, you know, 10 to $15 and all these, but I'll list them all, you know, all five of them overall, we're going to make probably about, you know, 50, 60 bucks on that. Um, but that'll be a good profit item. Good to put in the store. It's not a fast mover, uh, but it's not a slow mover either. So um hopefully one will sell every month and that'll just help keep sales moving along in our store the other stuff here is pretty unique um i did want to show you a toy that i picked up because it's a grail toy of mine not a grail toy in the overall toy world just one of mine not super expensive not something that you do want to necessarily source unless you get them really cheap and i am looking for them on ebay so but i finally found mine was this little tank and it lights up it doesn't light up right now because i need to check it it's like three decades old but it would light up it would make sounds it's a little tank i had this exact one with these exact colors when i was a kid and that's well over three decades ago and then i got this like i think it was eight or nine when i first got it and I have been, it broke it, I broke it, and then lost it, and now it's back. I've found it again. I'm kind of shocked. And the table I got this on is a guy that I don't really buy too much from because he does price things up a bit. Um, it's a Sonic Flasher is the brand name on it. Um, the guy that I bought it from, I don't usually buy too much from him because he does ask uh, close to eBay prices uh, for his items. And I don't blame them. You know, you can run, you know, run your stuff as you can. I just won't be able to, you know, spend uh, money with him just because, I mean, I, I have, but I got to keep my costs down in order to resell online because so that way I can make a living as well too. So whoever basically can, you know, sell me at best deal so that way I can make money, they can make money. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the next few things I bought here, I bought some camera bags. Camera bags are great to look out for. Um, and the ones that, surprisingly, the ones that don't really do too well are the ones that are actually branded like Canon or Nikon. Um, kind of weird. I would think those ones would go pretty good. And then if they do have that name on it, people are usually charging like 30 or 40 bucks for the bag. So you got to look for those other brands that, um, will still sell well and move and these ones have sold well for me and moved and some of these are brand new so first off you know one of the more weller known brands and that is a tamarack these little guys sell pretty quickly they sell for about 15 to 20 dollars um 
I got the lot of bags for 50 bucks. So, um, but I'm gonna make my money back on one bag. I'm gonna show you right now. So this guy here is the cool little util utility you put on your belt. It's got the strap and everything to um, crossbody it. But great little bag, 10 to 15 dollar seller. These things sell all the time. Um, I always snap them up when I find them if they're five dollars or less, and just because it's a quick mover. So I'll be I'll be happy making a little bit less profit if um, it's a quick mover. That's a good one right there. Then this is the other brand too, this Low Pro brand. Definitely want to be on the lookout for this brand. These were brand new, so if they're brand new, even better. And um, they're just camera cases. You know, this is just like a hard, uh, harder material. That brand new on the inside, fresh. He had a, some larger bags, but he was asking a lot more for the larger bags. Um, this should be $20, $25 right here for this guy. Low Pro is another great brand to look out for. Look out for it. Uh, Goodwill usually has them priced low. Actually, Goodwill has them priced lower than this guy did for the larger bags, because I do have some of the larger bags too. But Low Pro is a great brand, especially if it's brand new. <laughs> brand new with the, you know, unused. And this guy had a bunch of stuff. Uh, he wants to clean out a locker and this guy this guy's like a locker clean out Guy and he wants to clean out a locker with all kinds of equipment in there But he had a bunch of this stuff here another low pro right here Low pro is just a video camera bag brand new again with the tag that A great brand to look out for it definitely has the quality has the strap in there Still has the internal tracking in it I mean, it's you'll you'll know when you see this brand. It, I mean, it's just a good quality um, camera bag. So low pro, great bag here. Um, then we have another low pro right here. Let me show you that one. Just have to keep an eye on my computer just in case I get any messages or anything here for work. Um, so you may see some more cuts in this video. Uh, I always like to keep these videos nice and you know. Um, Less editing. Less editing, the better for me. I'm um, not the best editor, but um, uh, less editing, the better. <laughs> I think for everybody that edits. Uh, edits video out there in the YouTube world. Um, another low pro here. Low pro. This is a, just a great bag. I mean, some of these bags, you don't even need to use them for necessarily four cameras. I mean, you can buy them for yourself and just use them as a bag. But again, $20, $25 for each of these bags. Not bad for ten dollars a bag. Um, how many? Get one, two, three, four. Yeah, I got five bags, fifty bucks. Um, another guy that I, I deal with all the time at the flea market. I don't usually buy too much from him because um, he tends to charge up. Tends to charge close to what eBay charges. Uh, nice guy. I mean, all these guys are nice guys, nice people, nice women, guys, models. You know, um, but you know sometimes. Even the people that usually you would pass up because they're charging too high, sometimes they might have a great deal or great items, and you can't, you know, you got to be looking at everybody. Got to be looking at every single table if you can. Now, this bag here, this was the one, the crown jewel of the bags that I bought. Uh, this National Geographic, it is a camera bag, but, I mean, this can be used for anything and i am seriously considering keeping it um but i'm kind of torn because i have a star wars bag that i bought in disneyland that i really like and i like carrying it around it's a great size but you know i'm always drawn to the green for, i like green for some reason um um my wife's or my parents all say because it's my birth year month stone, which is an emerald, I was born in May. Um, but uh, really nice bag. Now used, used comp on this bag, last sold $57. Used. Um, this is brand new with tags, so I don't know, maybe 100 to maybe it was a, if I had to guess in the store, this would probably be like $120 bag. It's almost military grade-esque, I think. I mean, it's branded National Geographic. I'm not sure the actual, it's National, I'm not sure exactly who manufactured it, but amazing bag. I don't know, I might price this 120, maybe a little bit more, just cause it's a nice bag. It's a camera bag. It's a sling bag, which everybody loves the sling bags. 
that not a full-on backpack but not a full-on um you know like small tiny pack either <sighs> just a nice bag i'm torn between keeping it or not but look out for that national geographic bags camera bags camera bags in general look out for these brands just because you know the nikons of the world and the the canons of the world are going to be priced up people are going to see those brand names on it and then immediately upcharge it um hold on i need to send away a notification on my computer a little bit later in the day here finishing up the video right now i think that a little carried away with work so uh, i just want to finish covering everything here in the flea market uh, i finished working already earlier uh, we went and got something to eat and uh, went over to goodwill of course um, I got some great stuff at, coming up in this video. This will be tomorrow. Um, I was able to shoot inside the Goodwill for a little bit. And it was looking like a dead day. But uh, things turned out pretty well. Okay. <clears throat> so I got another deal that went down at the flea market. Uh, another $50 deal here. This time it was for some knives. Multi-tool knives. Not this puff ball. I don't even know where that came from. But, um... We got uh, a couple of multi-tool knives. First, this is what drew me in to the to the uh, the sale, the seller. Right there was this was sitting there on the uh, on the table, and I went to go look at it. It was brand new. I didn't even look up real comps or anything. I kind of just went off instinct. And when I picked it up, I was asking him how much. He was looking about twenty bucks on it. Then he said, "Well, I have uh, something better if you're interested." And I'm like, "Sure, yeah, let's see it." And then he pulls out uh, this right here. And this is a Leatherman. So boom. So he pulls this one out right here. And I'm like, oh, man. I put that one down. And I'm looking at this one. Make sure it's not rusty or anything. Everything looks good. Still got a little bit of oiliness. Like how it would come from the factory. Just a really nice Leatherman. I mean, it has all the different tools in here and everything. Uh, let's see. I don't want to hurt myself as I take these tools out. Right there and then more tools on this side this one's gonna be a gift I'm gonna give this one to my father um, his birthday is coming up and I know he could use this boom look at those little tools right there little scissors some flat heads now it also has a knife on this side it has this thing is a saw blade or a file right there on that side and what's over here? This should be like kind of like a saw blade -ish, ish, and then the real the saw blade right there. So great tool knife. Comes with the you know it's pretty rare when you find them used um, to make they have the case with them. But this one had the case with it too. Cases go for like twenty bucks alone. Uh, Leatherman uh, cases. So kind of you know unique to find it with the case. And this right here comps at. A hundred eighty to a hundred dollars for this knife, uh, probably more like a hundred dollars because it has the case with it. And so I got this, 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 and then I got um, this one right here. Turns out I couldn't find any uh, uh, brand new comps on it, but used it comps at about forty to fifty dollars. So I'm thinking maybe seventy, eighty bucks brand new in there. It's a Coleman, so a more premium brand in the in the in, uh, still in the package and everything. So. Then I spotted these matches, which I've dealt with matches before, and you definitely don't want to, you know, pass them up, especially if they're older ones. This is what really, this is why I picked it up right here, this Gucci one right here. Sold comp on that for 25 bucks. I'm going to comp the rest of these ones out and see what they price at, but I'm guessing maybe around $4 for this whole lot. Uh, I'm going to sell this one individually, then I'm going to look up these ones really quick, see if there's any other... Uh, uh, any other ones of high value in this whole matchbook set, uh, then I'll uh, price those accordingly. But don't pass up matches, especially uh, vintage matches. Uh, modern matches, yeah. That you know, anything. I don't think that many places give out matches anymore. But uh, just old form of advertising. And uh, but if you find a bunch of vintage matches, you usually get them pretty cheap. So I got this whole bundle here for fifty bucks, and this is going to be for my dad. So that's out. This right here, maybe 70, 80 bucks for that. And then let's say at least, you know, 25 for this guy, maybe at least 40, you know, so like 100, you know, hopefully maybe 120, maybe on the low end, 100 bucks for all, you know, for those two things. So pretty good. I paid for a gift. 
paid for my gift for my dad, and um, I'm making profit. So, I mean, you got to be able to uh, not just look at it as you're selling stuff, but you got to look out. To, I mean, you're finding stuff out there all the time that, you're like, hey, that's a that's a great item for so and so, or you know, I need that for the house, or you know, if I wasn't giving this to my dad, I might just keep it. But I did get the bracelet, the Leatherman bracelet already at a, at a Goodwill, so this is this is already coming handy. Um, but I mean, these stuff comes in handy. You'll find stuff that you can actually use out there. Um, some stuff that maybe you're looking for, and you're like, you know, I'll just go to Goodwill and check it out, or I'll just go to the flea market, see what I can find out there. And trust me, you'll find it, and you'll find it at great prices. Headphones. You know, I found some great Bose headphones. You know, I sold them for, I think I, those were featured in the video. I picked those up for probably around $30, if I remember correctly. Sold them for $120. So, tr if you guys need something, keep your eye out at the Goodwills and flea markets. You know, you're going to find it. Just like the toy I found earlier. You know, I, I 30 something years later, thir three decades, over three decades later, I finally found it. Now the other, this was a big hit right here. The other item I got, this is uh, by a company called Poly, formerly Polygon, 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 and they made a lot of um, uh, telecommunication stuff, a lot of uh, like conference room stuff, uh, speakers, conferencing phones, all that. Um, this here, I was actually trying to buy a speaker from the guy, a guy I buy from pretty regularly. Sells a lot, gets a lot of technology stuff, does a lot of office cleanouts, and he had this there. I was trying to buy a speaker, and it was just he was just asking too much, and I just I couldn't you know pay him for the speaker. I was also trying to get some Ray Bans and some uh, and some um, uh, Ray Bans, and what else was I getting? Oh, like an old Razor phone, but he he was just asking too much for price, and I couldn't pay that price to resell it. However, this guy here was thirty five dollars. And it looks like a speaker. Let's take a look at it here. It looks like a speaker with a little dial. But um, I've been running some tests on it and stuff already just to make sure it works, which it does. Um, it has a speaker in the back. Kind of strange, a little backfiring speaker. But this is for video conferencing. It has a little 4K camera right there. And this, as a matter of fact, I might not keep the National Geographic thing because I might just keep this because I was testing this out and it looks pretty good. I might use this as my primary camera. It's designed for use for use on a computer screen. It has the adapter right here, as you you know, if you see like on Logitech cameras or cameras for your computer, um, it'll have this uh, little adapter to kind of prop it up and support it on your monitor. But it's, I mean, it's it's pretty big and it's pretty cool. And the camera is actually pretty good. It's better than my, um, I have an LG Brio, 4K Brio, and it looks a lot better than the 4K Brio I have. So, um, this here goes, uh, comps out about a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars or so. So we'll see about this one. I may or may not sell it, but it comps out pretty high, uh, you know, hundred dollar range. Um, there is one currently listed for a hundred dollars, so yeah, I might try to shoot a little bit higher than that. Just um, I mean, it's in great condition. It's barely used condition. I mean, there's no issues with it at all. Um, yeah, but amazing product here, and uh, everything works perfectly great. So Polycom, Poly is the new brand. If you see Polycom, it might not be that great because Polycom is older, um, so the tech might be a bit older. Uh, Poly uh, is actually, uh, they're actually a part of Plantronics now. So Plantronics, you know, they make a lot of headsets and a lot of um, uh, headphones, which I have a pair of their headphones, which I featured in a video a little while ago, which I really like. Amazing headphones. Um, I like them better than, I like them better than my Bose, which I sold in, you know, I ended up selling my Bose ones. But um, uh, Poly, look out for Poly. Teleconferencing equipment. It usually does pretty well for me. When I do find it, um, I'll list it. Sells usually for good profit and usually sells pretty quickly too. 
uh, a lot of this tech stuff, like um, teleconferencing stuff, a lot of computer stuff, you know, will still sell. Even if times are slow, they'll still sell because people still need technology. People still need this stuff to, you know, to run their business or run their small business or to use from home. And this is just another example of a, of a product that, you know, is needed in nowadays, you know, in these days of, you know, teleconferencing and Zoom meetings and um, I use Microsoft Teams a lot. These products are needed uh, nowadays more than ever. And this is just an amazing product, a great camera. Um, then yeah, speaker so so. I tested. I was testing it out already. Speaker so so. Uh, it's a backfiring speaker. It's kind of odd. I thought they'd be you know, forward speakers based on the um, the look of the front, but it's not. But it's still hundred hundred plus dollars on this item. You know, pretty good items. I mean, I got some. This flea market trip was pretty good. I mean, the Friday flea markets aren't that great. Like I said, they're kind of slower, but still get great items. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below. I appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys find this kind of stuff too. Or tips and tricks. We're all trying to help each other out. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.